makeup. Okay, let's start the transformation, guys. Keep all my makeup in this silly little caboodle. <laughs> it's broken, I need a new one. So I'm doing my pretty basic everyday makeup routine. I know this is something you guys have been wanting to see for a very long time. It's funny because I always felt like there wasn't much to see when it comes to my makeup routine because most of the products I use are just stuff that I've been using since like high school that I never really cared to look into and upgrade from. So I've always just been kind of not that secure in my makeup routine, I guess. Like by the time this video is over, I completely abandoned the foundation that I used in this routine for another one. So yeah, I'm kind of just learning as I go and hopefully the more I learn and experiment with, the more I can recommend to you guys. One thing I can say for certain though is that shaving the ends of my brows has probably been the most life-changing thing in my entire routine. If you're thinking about shaving your brows to draw on straighter brows, this is your sign. I swear it made my whole face just lift. The main reason that I decided to change from the foundation that I'm using here is because I just feel like the coverage wasn't enough for me, especially with my skin issues. Baking my under eye has also been so essential and I use this cute little Too Faced palette and I basically just use the browns and the pinks and just create a mixture on top of my eyelid. And then I top it off with this light glimmery shade in the same palette. This is pretty much all that I use for my eyes. And I literally cannot do my makeup without using a dark brown eyeshadow to extend the inner and outer corners of my eyes. It's so subtle but makes a huge difference on my face for some reason. And then I go over that for more definition with the NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner. And I'm using this in a dark brown shade instead of a black. I'm using a beige white glimmery shade that's in my Little Twin Stars Wet n Wild palette just to like define my under eye bags a bit. trick with a beige shadow color and just go over my brows with it to make them appear not as dark and I use a brown mascara for my lower lashes and a black one for my top lashes I guess it's just cuz I like my top lashes to stand out more but I still want my bottom ones to be like long and wispy if that makes sense I did my moles and my lashes off camera I feel like those are like the finishing touches that make it just like very much my makeup. something to my hair off camera because I couldn't find a way to film it and make it look all aesthetically pleasing because my bathroom is a mess. I'm about to go to the store soon and get like some essential things that I need. Please excuse my voice by the way. I'm recovering from like the nastiest cold right now. Yeah, I'm thinking about going to Ulta which will probably be my best bet to get like a new foundation and other makeup things that I need. But before I leave, I want to show you guys my new tote bag. I got this from Poshmark and it's Victoria's Secret. It just says angel and cursive. And I put this ribbon on it. This is pretty much the only bag that I've been acknowledging lately. It's just so pretty. And I'm going to show you guys what I carry inside of it. I haven't done a what's in my bag for so long on my channel. And I just want to update you guys. So this is what I carry in my tote bag. 
So especially in my tote bags, I like to carry pouches within my bag so that everything isn't just all over the place. I just hate the feeling of having to scramble for things last minute. It's so annoying. These are the two main pouches that I keep in my bag and I'll start with showing you guys what's in this one. If you remember the haul that I got this in, you're so real. So in this pouch, I basically just keep all of my little fragrances with me. I'm carrying three Scentbird fragrances right now, and I would like to thank Scentbird for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Scentbird is, it's basically a fragrance subscription service that lets you try different fragrances each month. And if you're someone like me who likes to experiment a bit before you decide on your signature scent, this would be perfect for you. I'm personally more into sweet, candy-like, soft fragrances, and I think Scentbird did an amazing job at choosing these and picking them out for me. I love how all of their fragrances come in this super cute case. They have so many different color options too. Like they sent me three shades of pink. They're so real for that. So you basically just twist the top and like slide it over so that the knob is on the other side. And when it's on the side with like the oval, that means it's open if you guys couldn't tell. So as you can see, it's locked right now. It's on the oval side, you can basically just spray it on you like usual. I love this scent so much. This is the one I've been using every single day. It's so pretty. And the notes are juicy red cherries, orange zest, peony bloom, sweet musk flower, and powdered sugar. I love that powdered sugar note. I feel like it really shows. If you like me and you like smelling like candy, you will definitely be a sugarful kiss girl. Okay, so this one is called Vanilla Vibes. As expected, you can never go wrong with vanilla scents. I feel like they're so fun to layer as well. And this one's fragrance notes are sea salt, natural vanilla, absolute, and musk. And I believe this is a peachy fragrance. Love citrus scents because they remind me of the summer. This one is called Peach Fields. So this one's notes are white peach, which I love. I feel like I don't see that one often. Osmanthus and sandalwood. This scent is really interesting because I can see it being gender neutral. Super peachy but not too sweet. I think the other fragrance notes really bring it together. Those are my scentbird samples from this month and I'll leave each fragrance in the description box. I'll be needing a full size sugarful kiss soon because the sugar mixed with the fruity fragrance notes is like my favorite combination in the world. And don't forget to use my code LILYANN for 55% off if you're in the US and Canada. This is my Hello Kitty essential pouch and I basically carry everything in this. It's a cute little baby brush because it's so adorable and it actually comes in handy when you're on the run. Cutest Hello Kitty pattern and I actually got this from my mom's friend's store in the mall. Like she has this cute little accessory boutique and I went to the back and saw that she had Hello Kitty brushes and I was like, yeah, you know what you were doing. I need them. And when I said I carry everything in this pouch, I really mean it because I also have my glasses. Fun fact, these are not prescription but they're really cute. So I like to keep them for like pictures. Yeah, I've been really into glasses lately. I just ordered some that I'm actually gonna put my prescription in, but these are not them. So they're definitely more of a fashion choice at this point, but I'm actually so blind. Like I'm wearing contacts right now and I'm absolutely not functional without any assistance in my vision, so. Okay, I don't know why growing up I hated how I look in glasses and now I'm just like they're the cutest thing ever Such character growth and then I also have some lip glosses. This is one I got from the hair store It's just like a strawberry fruit jelly one Then I keep at least like one more expensive gloss and it's always going to be Too Faced. But honestly, nowadays, I need another gloss when I'm wearing my Too Faced lip injection because it feels like, I don't know, it feels like the stinging has become more pronounced from when I first tried these. Like, it didn't bother me at first, but now I need to have a protection layer before I go stabbing my lips with this. Here some hand creams. Good old handy Bath & Body Works strawberry pound cake. She will never do you wrong. Also have had this My Melody hand cream forever because I just refuse to use it. It's way too cute. This is the one I use and this is kind of like the more accessory one. But this is like, it's just like a plain hand cream. There's really no scent. So I would offer this to somebody who just like can't stand things that are too like 
strong i guess then i have my chapstick cake batter this is pretty much the only chapstick brand that i use just love all their scents and they're very cute and I also keep a fan with me because it has been so hot lately. I just got this from my auntie in Canada. I appreciate her so much for giving me this because it saved my life on so many occurrences. And the worst thing is when I forget to pack this, like I feel like this is the one thing that I need to keep in my bag or I'll always regret it. And I also keep this Hello Kitty notepad and pen. I honestly don't have anything written in this. I just thought it would be cute for showing you guys because the one I write in is like messed up. But yeah, I'll start writing in this one day. I got this from Chicago in Chinatown and this pen doesn't even work, but that's why I plan to go to Michael's right after I'm done with this. <laughs> I have my Hello Kitty wallet. She is vintage and she is tore up on the back, but I'm holding on for dear life because she's just so cute. I got this in my last Mercury Japan haul. If you haven't seen it yet, you're missing out and you should go catch up. Love you. I also carry my digital camera. I feel like I've had this for so long. Like you can tell that the deco on it is kind of like turning. Like look at Hello Kitty. She slanted over. This takes all my favorite pictures. Probably my best investment in like the past year. If you don't have a digital camera, you need to fix that. Your life will change. Your picture game will like upgrade times a thousand. And this one is a power shot, a Canon power shot A11 100 IS. The name is kind of long, but people actually ask me a lot what type of digital camera I use for my photos. So this is what I use. And finally, I carry strawberry pound cake hand sanitizer and some pills for my headaches. I'm honestly hesitant to take like Tylenol and stuff, so this is still kind of full. Yeah, just in case it gets really bad, I keep a cute little leopard print pill case. And this hand sanitizer is almost done, but we have to stay sanitized out here, so that's a good sign. Oh, and I also carry my portable charger with me. This is something that I got for concerts, but it's been coming in handy because I'm somebody who always forgets to charge her phone at night. Like, I don't know why it's so bothersome to me. At like 10 p.m., I just roll over. I can't even be bothered to plug in my charger that's right next to my bed. Victoria's Secret just has the cutest totes. I think I got this for like $12. Super cute and equally accessible, so I will always love BS totes. Definitely recommend. This one even has a pocket, and that's where I keep my digital camera. Big sister duties. <laughs> so we're in Michael's. We're going to see Michael. <laughs> it's literally no pen. This is so cute. I Okay, they didn't have my foundation shade and I'm kind of sad about it because I fell in love with it as soon as I tested it out. So I just got back in from that little errand run or whatever you want to call it. I didn't really buy that many things as you could see because my main focus was to get a better holding foundation. But when I was matching my colors, of course the one that I needed was out of stock. So you guys know how that goes gonna probably have to check a different location really really liked that foundation it was the nars um 
I think it was something about medium coverage. I'm not sure, but it was definitely NARS. I've been learning a lot more about makeup nowadays than I have like in the past few years. But I was never someone who would like call myself a beauty guru or anything of that sort. But I definitely think I'm getting more out of that zone lately. But I know you guys just want to see what I do. It's not really about like any like skill levels or knowledge. Honestly been a great day, even though I didn't do much. This is what most of my days look like. I feel like it's just real, you know? Like there isn't always a concert to vlog or a trip to film. Like sometimes it's just life, lifing and existing. And that can be fun too, you know? I definitely know I have to clean my room, so I'm gonna get to doing that. And whatever I do next, you guys will see as well. Okay, I'm about to undo this tornado. <laughs> mentioned it to you guys already but I'm getting my nails done tomorrow and I'm so excited this is baby cat guys he's very clingy he's gonna be moving out to go with my sister in her new house soon so I'm gonna miss baby cat so I'm gonna go all out with whatever I get I know I definitely want to do leopard print but I want the technician to have some like freedom I sent her like the inspiration but it's gonna be something that no one else has so i'm probably gonna like record that for you guys i don't want to like end the vlog today because i know that that's what i'm doing tomorrow and i want to show you guys that currently letting my ipad charge because i have this really really strong urge to watch nana but specifically the movie version and it just turned on i highly recommend i started with the movie version and then i went on to the anime and then i went on to the manga so if y'all want to follow that order i think that's the best way to go it's a great watch and you will not regret it <laughs> other than like the depression you'll be in for the next few days you'll be fine though this will probably be the last bit of this vlog that i'll be recording today at least i'm definitely still gonna show you guys my nails when i get them done hope you guys enjoyed this very casual very comfy video love you all so much thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye